Oggio ho un'ottima recezione per te. Italian for a butchered Italian, I'm so sorry. For today, I have a great review for you. Let's hop into it. Okay, friends, if you were like me and played youth soccer at some point in your life, you probably wore a pair of Diodora football boots at some point. Maybe they were super just plain black leather with the tricolore, the green and the white and the red, the Italian flag on them. That's it. Uh, today, I have a pair of Diodora football boots for you guys. I have not tried a pair of Diodora football boots in so long. They showed up on soccer.com and I was like, Hmm, I wonder what these are all about, if they're any good. Today we're gonna find out if they're any good. And let's hop into the review. So the box is a matte black finish. You've got Diodora Football, made in Italy. These are, what are these called? The Brazil Elite Tech T Italian LPX. So made in Italy, uh, LPX, there you go. We'll give it to you on the, on the good old screen there. Hopefully that's, hopefully you can see that. So it's a matte black box and they have this really cool feature. This box is kind of beat up. Again, it's been traveling a lot where you open it, there's a magnet on the bottom and then you open it this way. So kind of fun, kind of different. Well done, Diodora. I can smell the leather in here. Um, different from like a Mizuno pair of boots, the made in Japan, the made in Ita Italy, I almost said made in Italy. Made in Italy, Diodora football boots are like the pinnacle of just craftsmanship. Like they pride themselves on craftsman, craftsmanship. Are they comfortable? Are they lightweight? Are they even performance ready? I don't know, maybe, maybe not, we'll see. Uh, but I have no idea what to expect. I'm honestly really excited. So you open up the box. Oh, cool. So you get this really cool graphic on, and I'll show you guys on the top down. You guys get this really cool graphic of this collage of the factory, I assume, the Diodora factory in Italy, and it's got these machines, it's got the hands of a guy crafting this beautiful, uh, these beautiful boots. Um, inside, you have this string bag, has Diodora on it, Diodora, very straightforward. Um, nothing too special. I'd give this like a four out of 10. <laughs> There's nothing crazy about this. Actually, you know what? Six out of 10. It's black and white and then the tricolore flag. I like the design, okay? Um, and like, I cannot stress to you guys how much, hopefully that's not too loud. I cannot stress to you guys the smell. Like it literally, like even just opening the box, it was like, whoa, like fresh off the, like leather, like just raw leather factory. It's very interesting. Um, so you know it's like, you know, good quality, the highest quality kangaroo leather or K leather you can possibly find. It's got the Diodora logo and football on this paper. And then you open it up and, ooh, okay. So here we go. So these are, the, I don't even know what they're called. That's my, the Brazil Elite Tech LPX made in Italy. So these are the boots and first impressions are, they're very, they're like pretty awkward looking. I don't know, here you go. So they're like very wide and which is cool. The leather is definitely soft. Like it's a super soft leather upper. It's got the classic tongue, which I think is great. It's got the little strap on the bottom. Um, the stud pattern. Oh, I just realized this. The Diodora logo is like in the, is like the, basically the ridge that goes on the bottom of the boot to provide some stability. That's kind of cool. That's kind of a cool touch. The leather quality looks amazing. Um, but the boot like it's very awkwardly shaped, so I don't actually know how it's gonna fit and feel on feet. It's got the Made in Italy little sticker here. Let's get these out of the box and see what the, what this boot is all about. Cool box though, really, really cool box. I love that little fold, magnet fold over. I'm a sucker for a magnet, you know? Okay, so here is the Brazil Made in Italy. And I will give you guys a continuous look of this one. So the Elite Tech FGs um, combine the luxury feel of the design element in those 1990s boots 
with cutting edge lightweight tech. Um, they're made in Italy, so premium leather upper that transitions into a synthetic material back here. Yeah, this stuff. So right where you see the stitch that goes along the Diodora logo, everything behind that, so here basically, down below here, and then on the other side underneath, and there is all synthetic. Um, it's got the teardrop studs, so you can see that. Teardrop studs um, for improved rotational traction, obviously, and straight line speed, so you kind of get best of both worlds. Um, and then they've got the collar that goes around uh, with this little strap, which is awesome. So what's really funny to me is that they market this not as a lace protection, but as an impact protection. <laughs> so they market this collar as something that's gonna help you if you get studded in that exact location, it's gonna protect you from breaking your foot. Who knows if it actually works, but hey, it's in the, it's in the ads, so that's what it is. So this is a premium leather upper uh, midfoot and forefoot. You've got synthetic in the back. You've got this almost like raw leather slash suede liner um, on the inside, but it's like there's no there's no like cover stitch. I know this is going to be kind of interesting, but if you see, there's like that that material is just like stitched to the inside of the boot, or rather the outside is stitched to this inside part. So it's very strange. It's like you could take this and just like rip it apart, um, which design quality, like I'm sure it's really good because these boots are just, these boots are like $250, which is crazy considering what they are, um, which is just like a basic leather boot. They are kind of light though. I'll give them that. They are, they are pretty light. They've got the Diodora heel, you know, heel counter. Uh, to be honest, the sole plate looks pretty cheap. I'm not going to... I'm not going to make any assumptions that it's going to be like out of this world. Uh, and, you know, I may have sort of a joking mindset when looking at a boot like this, but I can tell you from experience, it's pretty easy to tell when a boot's not going to be amazing right out of the box or uh, just like a good performing football boot. This football boot is what I imagine and what I've seen the Italian referee crews wear. So I don't think I've ever seen a player wear these boots before, at least not to my knowledge. Um, yeah, so it's it's like, what are these? who are these actually designed for? And at $250, who's gonna buy a pair of these, right? I, if I slip these on and they are the most comfortable boots I ever wear and, 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 I decide to wear these and nothing else for the rest of my life, I will quit YouTube. Like that's literally, I just like, that's, there's no way, I, and I genuinely say this, like I'm not trying to be arrogant and be like, oh, I've tried so many boots on. I'm literally just like, just looking at these, they are not gonna be a pair of boots that I wanna wear. Um, but, you know, again, leather quality is super good. Super, super good. It definitely rivals like Tiempo Legend 9 Elite. I don't, you know, I don't think it's anything close to the Mizuno boots, but it definitely is a good quality leather. But again, constantly keep an asterisk in the back of your brain. They're $250, $260, I think, US. Not on sale. Obviously, they probably will go on sale at some point, but... Um, yeah, so there's not really that much tech to talk about. Like, here's the thing, the on-feet portion of this video is probably gonna be longer than uh, this review simply because it is, there, there's really not much to talk about. Plastic, uh, sort of this plastic compound for the sole plate, external heel counter is fairly straightforward, leather upper, synthetic in the heel area, a little bit of tongue, and that's it. Like, there, there really isn't anything tech-wise to talk about this boot other than the fact that it's Diodora and for somebody who has extreme nostalgia looking at a pair of boots like this, amazing. If you're like anything like me and you're not really into this style of football boot, at least at this point in life, this might not be the best option for you, but uh, let's hop into the on-feet portion of the video and I will let you guys know how these fit and feel on feet. This is a size 9 US, so it is in my traditional size. We'll see how they uh, we'll see how they go width-wise. I'm sure they'll be fine. Leather boots most of the time, especially ones that are all leather, are totally suitable for wide-footed players simply because they'll stretch really easily. Lengthwise, I am curious to see how Diodora fits. Um, I don't know if they fit half size longer, true to size, half size shorter, we'll see. But let's hop into that on-feet portion of the video. See you guys soon. 
All right, fam, how's it going? So I've got the Diodora boots with me uh, and we are at Arena Sports. So thank you, Arena Sports, for letting me do this little review here. I know I was very skeptical about these boots um, when I did take them out of the box and get them in my hand for the first time. That still stands. I'm still very skeptical. I'm not sure how they're gonna fit and feel on feet. Um, but again, I always like to try the boots because I do think it's important to make sure that before you make any judgments about how a boot looks, obviously you can weigh the boot, you can do all sorts of um, measurements objectively, but the subjective feeling that they have on feet, how they fit your foot and how well they fit your foot is something that you can't really uh, obviously know until you try them on, which is awesome. So I'm going to get these laced up super quick. Um, and again, this is the, the, the premium leather is actually pretty good. I would say their, their leather quality is, is, is pretty good. I wouldn't say it's anything close to Mizuno, um, Mizuno made in Japan quality, but it definitely is, definitely is pretty good. So I'd give them a solid like seven, eight out of 10 for, for like just objective leather quality. It's a bit thick. Um, it's nothing thin. It's nothing premium, even like a Tiempo. It's not going to be that, it's not going to be that nice. Um, but let's get these on feet. So something that I noticed before even putting them on, which is kind of awkward is the tongue actually doesn't start until the second or third lace hole. So maybe you can see that. So see how the tongue starts there, not down here. So a little bit less customizability. So we'll see actually how that fits. Um, and getting into them pretty straightforward. Okay. All right. Um, not a huge fan. Uh, they also must run a half a size big because these have an entire thumb widths of space in the front of them. I'm honestly not even going to tie these because I don't think, uh, yeah, yeah, not going to tie these because they aren't even, honestly, like, <laughs> they do not fit that well. Um, they have a decent amount of width to them, like, as most leather boots do, and I don't know if this comes across, hopefully this will come across in the, the close-up of this boot, but they are, they look like clown shoes. I mean, they really, like, they're way, way, way too long. The lockdown in the heel's pathetic. Um, again, leather quality, it's nice, it's soft, it's cushiony. So I'm sure the touch on the ball feels really nice, but uh, Diodora, come on, man. Like, I know you're not, you don't have a high budget for these kinds of things, but it definitely is, um, definitely is not ideal. Um, I can definitely feel that the tongue doesn't start until the second lace hole, and that's an issue for me, and here's why. I have a very wide foot in that area where the lace holes start. So every time that I have a boot, let's say the Tiempo Legend 9, where yes, even though it's a mesh inside, and we're talking leather boots just as a comparison, the, the mesh that happens in the Tiempo Legend 9 goes all the way down. So theoretically, you have a really you know, free stretch material that goes all the way down where my foot is widest. What that means is if I don't want to tie the boots for the first half an hour of training just to get them worn in, I can do that. If I untie these, it's still super tight around that uh, kind of right in here, right? That area right there in my foot, which is, is pretty uncomfortable to be honest. And there's way too much space in the toe box and the toe area. So that's, and the, you know, the sole plates like kind of meh, like it is, it is sticky. It is nice. Uh, by sticky, I just mean that it, goes into the ground pretty well like it's it's pretty average to be honest um, but I'm not honestly guys like I would not recommend buying these boots uh, I wanted to try them on just because I haven't tried a pair of Diodoras in a really long time if you are absolutely set on going Diodora because you want the nostalgia you want the classic feel you want the classic look go half a size down on these because they definitely are at least a thumb too big on the toe so half a size down I would go eight and a half um, yeah all right, guys, that's it for my review of the Diodora Brazil Tech LSX or LLX. Anyway, these Diodora boots. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you got value from it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next one.